finish a little bit better than you than the past two before that? Yeah, I think we improved as the weekend went along. Obviously, the first game was an anomaly. It, just everything that could go wrong went wrong in that game, and it was uh, brutal to be a part of. I'm really proud of the fact that the team turned around the next day and came back with a totally different mentality. The score doesn't really show it, but we competed a whole lot better. We actually out-hit Texas A&M in the second game um, and gave ourselves uh, opportunities. Um, and so just seeing them fight back in that next game. And then the third game, we, really, we were in it until the last pitch. We had the tying run at the plate in the seventh inning. Um, and we're toe-to-toe -to -toe, uh, hits with them. I was really, really proud of our offensive production. We went through three of their pitchers in that final game. And um, so I think that says a lot about our offense. And um, I think it gave us a lot of things to learn uh, and see that we have to fight harder on defense for every out and um, use every opportunity on the bases. But uh, we saw a growth throughout the weekend, and so I think that's a positive thing. And um, thankfully, this, isn't, this wasn't a conference mm -hmm. yeah. series. Uh, but what is is Lamar, this weekend, yeah. who is at the bottom of the standings. You're at second in the standings. So, what is that matchup going to look at look like with the series this weekend at home? Uh, I think Lamar is actually playing better softball right now. They're starting to turn a corner and see uh, some things go in their favor. And so they're probably going to come in here with a lot more confidence. And we definitely are not overlooking them. We know that they have some really quality uh, players on their squad and that they're capable of playing really good softball. And so um, we're excited to just uh, play the back half of our conference um, uh, our conference schedule now and see what we can do adjustments wise the second time around with everyone. Um, I think coming off of the Texas A&M series, I think offensively we're going to have a lot more confidence going into the rest of our uh, 12, 12 conference games and excited to be back at home against Lamar. I think it should be a really good, good weekend for us. And how much would it mean to the community of Abilene to be able to come to this game since you only have just two more series yeah. left, I think, here at home? Yep. So, I mean, what would it mean to have them here and kind of get that jump start that, that finishes out for this last month? Uh, yeah, fan support is huge for us. I think our girls thrive on, uh, we want to bring a lot of energy out to the field. And so when we have fans in the stands that are energetic, it just helps keep it bouncing back and forth. And our girls love playing at home. They love playing in front of uh, their friends and family. And um, I think it would be in a lot to them to have the stands full and get them rowdy. Uh, we experienced the other side of that out at uh, College Station. And so it'd be nice to be at home and get that uh, support for our girls as well. We've seen already several games at home this year on ESPN Plus. Is that something new and exciting that the players really enjoy being able to, you know, have family tune in for their home games? Absolutely, it means a lot to our players to be on ESPN Plus because we have recruited from all over the country, and so being able to have their families uh, tune in, watch the games. The commentators have done a really good job with the ESPN games. Really, when we go back and watch it, it's uh, I'm, I'm really impressed by their knowledge of the game and awareness of what's going on. And so uh, that's just fun. And it's really helpful with our recruiting as well that uh, our recruits can watch us play and kind of already be in tune with what we're doing here. Was there a player that you really saw step up to the challenge against Texas Oh, that's a great question. Uh, at different points, we saw a lot of different players step up. Mercedes had some really quality at-bats for us, and um, it's a kid that uh, we have trusted with the bat in her hand at, the, at a critical point in the game, and I think she continued to show that this weekend. Um, really, we saw good production out of a lot of different kids. Lista had some really good at-bats. Uh, she had a great uh, contact with bases loaded that was... Uh, would have been a game changer for us. Unfortunately, our base runner ran into the ball and it killed the inning, but um, Lista's at bat was really quality. Uh, statistically, the stats aren't gonna show it, but Sydney pitched really well through a lot of adversity. Um, if you go back and look at film, her, her pitches were uh, pretty filthy. She just uh, didn't get a break in um, a lot of the situations, but yeah, we had a lot of kids step up in different times. I think we, we see the intensity that we have to play with. It doesn't matter who our opponent is. We have to play the, and be the best version of ourselves no matter who we're playing and not let somebody else, uh, a stadium, a fans, any of that outside uh, dictate our intensity and our effort level. And um, I think we all saw that we're cap we were capable of more than what we showed up doing this last weekend. So I think they're going to be hungry to come out for the rest of the season and just play the best version of ACU softball that we can. Yeah, we went with a different strategy. We wanted to try and give some different looks each game. And so um, after game one, we really tried to save two arms to give uh, fresh starts. Um, 
uh, Sydney was was coming off of uh, uh, some sickness, and so we decided to start her game too and uh, keep her as fresh as possible. And I think she came out um, and did really well, despite the statistics. Um, uh, and then getting Lorena start on game three, uh, we just thought we would try something different. We didn't think that they were going to be prepared for that. Um, she's uh, more of a junk ball, slower uh, velocity, and so it was kind of fun to just start the game with that instead of using her in a relief role. And I think she started the game positively uh, for us, and uh, typically we're going to get probably three innings um, out of her, and so she did what we were expecting her to do.